a bass teacher has he? I just wonder. We had we had Phil McNeese for a while. Phil was in here, but I haven't I seen Phil for years. <laughs> I think he's got his, his new he got like a property somewhere so he's been doing oh. some stuff. I don't know. Do you know Tim? I don't personally, but I know Kenny does. He uh this thing's loud. every time we go into a guitar center, he was always trolling for students. <laughs> Like, all right, dude. <laughs> what can I mess with? What if you want? All right. I don't need those. Right. Oh, that's just for the trim. I don't think we need to see if he has his foot switch. Oh. No, okay, that's for the trim. He doesn't have his foot switch to trim the trim. All right. I can get one. Though. So that's not his amplifier. It's just the kind he used. Is that right? That's the same year. I think it's like you have to ask him he, he's so in terms of the details of what he how much he knows compared to me is kind of nuts but it, I, I want to say in terms of uh, serial numbers if you want to get into that level of oh, wow. nerdiness it's like 20 serial numbers off or something something that like it's from the same year the same month the, you know it's the, made at the same time so it's about as close as you're going to get I just know it's got a red light and a lot of knobs and it makes it go loud. <laughs> he, he, they, they, he's got like, um, he's got like four or five of those. We have a whole, you there's a like couple it. buildings and stuff. <laughs> we can only fit so much stuff in here. We've already maxed out how much stuff can be in here as evidenced by how much we put on top of the... Uh -huh. <laughs> um, There's a little thing on it that picks up the vibration from the from the neck, so if it's not touching the right spot, it won't pick it up. As much. So do you play around town too? I used to quite a bit. I don't so much, not so much anymore. I pretty much live in the studio. I don't. I, I I used to actually go out and do quite a bit, but it's just you're never home. You know, like at some point, like you, I tell I tell the kids I teach them like, look, it's not what you think it is unless you're like. Ariana Grande, it's not yeah. very glamorous. You're on a bus or a train or a plane or you're already going somewhere. Yeah. You live out of your suitcase. You eat whatever you can get. To eat. It, most of the time, it's not very good. Uh, if you're real serious, you don't drink when you're out doing it or anything. So you just kind of are in this perpetual thing. And I told them that the interesting thing was, had I done it 10 years before I did it, I probably would have loved it. But when I started doing it was when the advent of the smartphone came out. It was right around that time I started doing it. So you could always see what you were missing from constantly on the road. You see, oh, I miss so-and-so's birthday. Today, or, I, miss, I miss this family party or what, whatever. You And that would have never been possible if they didn't call you about it 10 years period. You didn't know it happened. Right. But then you like, in your spare time when you're doing this, going, oh, crap, on your iPhone. I miss that. And it, it made me just miss being at home. Yeah. So I, I'd rather get to play music whenever I want every day and be at home. I think the funny thing is, people are like, oh, we want to go backstage. And it's like, it is not glamorous back there. No, no, it's just a room. It's just a, it's a crappy room. In most instances of every, you know, it's a crappy, dirty room. Where that's had beer spilled on it more times than you can imagine. Yes. <laughs> All right, Steven, let one rip. Let's hear it. Well, What's dangerous. your favorite, bestest one? <laughs> yeah, you can turn the guitar up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go deaf. Oh, gee, that's real loud. Like, you got an audience. <laughs> Thank 
the beauty of the sound of it. Okay. So you're not going to use high quality material when you're ma using those manufacturing methods. Gotcha. Um, and then three, the you know the quality control could be the neck could be a little low, it could be off in terms of where the frets are placed. They don't have an exact measurements. They're just putting these together. Okay. So uh, the tuners might not necessarily hold the tune as much. The frets might not be shaped. The nut is definitely not made of bone. It's made of plastic. So there's another piece on your guitar that when you have bone versus plastic, bone is a more resonant material than plastic. So it's not going to be as good.